Hi everyone, it's Fitz with your post-game talk. Kansas State women lose 63-50 here in Bramwich Coliseum. Kansas State basketball is finally done for the season. What a disappointing performance in the second half uh, by K-State. They led 35-33 at halftime, so they scored 15 points in that second half. Colorado played extremely good defense throughout. They were very physical with Aoka Lee. Uh, and they've got a number of posts that can come in and rotate through and uh, kind of handle her. Great job covering her up. Um, Colorado was the best team in this game. Um, but I just want to point something out here that I personally think is kind of funny. The first game I covered this season in person, I saw in person, uh, was the Colorado women playing LSU out in Las Vegas prior to the K-State game. In my basketball season of coverage ends, covering the Colorado women beating Kansas State. Um, look, this was a great season by K-State, but they just, they never were the same after the Lee injury. They never kind of found their, their you know, what they had going, their chemistry. And that, things were just off after that, and I can't explain why. Um, but I'll say this, uh, the future's bright for K-State basketball. First of all, we don't know if Lee's coming back. She has another year with the NIL. Maybe maybe she does come back because the women's basketball game doesn't have as much money in it as the men's. We'll see. We'll find out. Uh, but if I had to pick a player of the game here, it'd be Taryn Sides. She, the freshman point guard, played four minutes in the first half. You know, that plus-minus line on the stat sheet is so iffy sometimes and she was plus eight in those four minutes and I, I gotta say this they were plus eight in those four minutes because of her she did a marvelous job moving the ball around the outside making the Colorado defense work uh, and then she hit an open three-pointer herself during that stretch um, and then she didn't play until the final seconds and I just felt like trying to put her in the second half maybe see if she could get the same energy going uh, might be something Coach Mitty would do, but he didn't. Uh, and I think it part because they started to fall behind and you know, he just wanted his experienced players out there, the ones that knew uh, how to play at this level and play that kind of physicality. Uh, this is going to be a great rivalry. Now that Colorado's coming back into the Big 12, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens between KC and Colorado in all sports. But these women women's programs are going to go at it. They're going to have some fun playing. Um, you know, just a marvelous season for Kansas State. Ends at 26 and eight for the Wildcats. Uh, they you know, were trying to get to that Sweet 16 for the first time in almost 20 years at K-State. They just couldn't get it done. They just didn't have enough in the tank to finish the task. Uh, and now the season is over. Um, just a very disappointing ending of an incredible crowd. I, again, I, I gave a shout out yesterday uh, to the crowd and it was fabulous. It was just Amazing, the sold out arena for women's basketball. Colorado had a big you know, group of people here that was very loud. Um, and of course, I, I thought the K-State administration did an amazing job staging this. This felt like an NCAA tournament site that I had covered on the men's side many times and they really staged this thing ideally. Uh, but that's it for K-State women's basketball. That's it for K-State basketball in this year. Uh, and on to spring football and baseball and other things at Kansas State. Our coverage will continue, of course. Make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel. Hit those thumbs up, like the videos, uh, and of course, uh, leave comments. I like comments. It makes me feel like a better person. Uh, and also, I'll have a DD tomorrow. I don't know what on. I have no idea what I'm going to do it on. If you have any ideas, uh, drop me a tweet or an X. Tweet X. Yeah, that's it.